What's going on? Tacton to get you playing some more Mono Green Tron. And ooh, I'm late tonight. Uh, it's 11:40, and I this will be the one I upload today. Well, I guess technically tomorrow. Got the die roll. Let's see the opening hand. Nope, only a single mind, Jagantha. All right. Possibly Tron. Possibly something else. There's, we don't have a threat, but that's going to be our hand. We will keep the extra draw, I think. Power plant, chromatic sphere. You know, the benefit of playing star over sphere has uh, drastically changed now that uh, the spell people use to remove it is exile instead of destroy. Bloodstained Mire, all right. The Invince Ragavan. There's the monkey. Well, there's our best extra land. Crack for green. And we double up, nice. Get the missing Tron land. And pass turn. Take a little bit of damage from Ragavan here. They could potentially... This is probably going to be a Death Shadow build. Not 100 on that, though. They could Ancient Stirrings. Oh, that looks like a held up counter spell. See if they have a counter spell. No counter spell. Possible removal then? Definitely a Death Shadow if they're waiting to crack those. Yep. But I meant this works out pretty well for us. Yeah, they, there's the scoop. They went all in on the one drops. Last zone is just a really powerful land here. Are the ley lines worth it? It's an interesting question here. Technically, there's a little bit of graveyard cards with this, but there's not a lot. I'd rather have the removal with the dismembers. I don't feel the need for any artifact destruction. They may bring in, but uh, something we want to get rid of, but we have Boseju. I think we just run it as is. If it were something else, maybe I'd go down a uh, Karn or something. Uh, the problem with the ley lines is you want to run everything you have to maximize the chance of getting it in your opening hand. Because if it's not in your opening hand, it's a dead card. Nope. 
Double tower, but no other. Ooh. It's a gamble, but it's a gamble towards an Ulamog. Against a deck that could potentially have a thought seize. Hmm. Better, better, better. Uh, we'll play a risky game. Yep, yeah, well, I wouldn't have wanted to have gone much lower. They get the ancient stirrings. Chromatic off the top. Nope. They took the chromatic two instead of the ancient stirrings. Had they taken the, uh, I mean, it's a uh, relatively effective choice. They're going to take the Ulamog here because we have double ancient stirrings. Chromatic here would be nice. Or power plant. This will be the death shadow here. Possibly a double. Oh, an iteration. All right. Having an unholy heat. Or no, leaving an unholy heat in exile. Alright. No extra land, alright. Oh, unfortunate. We were close. We get the mine off the top deck, we're in a really good spot. I also wouldn't mind a blast zone. Grab the relic. For the ensnaring bridge. I think we grab the ensnaring bridge here. Land or a blast zone would be nice. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But we get rid of the big threat. We have a couple good draws. Forest would be nice. Tron would be nice. Just natural Tron. We have a few turns left here. Top deck versus mine.
Nope. They get the third land. We get the third Thrag Tusk. Wow. Okay, that's unfortunate. I'll take a forest at this point. Lightning bolt. Have a thrag task. Kick to Torak, all right. Here goes our Ulamog. It is unfortunate. We get another turn if we draw a forest. If only we kept the Ulamog. Uh, no, we're dead. Triple Thrag Test draw. If, we, if they hadn't gotten the Torak, we might have had one more turn, but yeah. That triple Thrag Tusk really hurt. Get to play this game, though. That does help. Come on, show me Natural Tron. That's good enough. See if they have the monkey hand. Or the Dragon Raid. Dragon Raid Shannon. Alright. With Mishra's Bobble. They're likely going to have the three attack next turn. But we have a threat to play. Which is nice. Bit risky, but I think we go for the relic here. Because I think they're holding up a spell pierce.
Oh, yeah, that definitely makes me think they were holding up the relic. Or the spell pierce. They had, could have had counterspell too, but I think they would have used it if they had counterspell. Interesting timing on the dress down. And I get my dismember. That's a nice play next turn. There's the spell pierce. They wanted to try and bait us into not leaving up Blast Zone. Interesting choice. Question will be, will they tap out here? And an unholy heat. All right, but they do tap out, which is really nice for us. Because I don't believe they have any way to ever beat a Kozilek. And especially not another Blast Zone Ulamog Double Karn. And there's the scoop. All right. Yeah, interesting game right at 12 o'clock. Could have played a little bit faster to get it out by 12, but it'll do. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Tectonic Edge, signing out.